Hunting mountain buffalo constitutes a major physical and mental challenge. For me, it is always amazing to see how some hunters of older age still are willing to face such challenges. Some basic fitness is of course necessary. But what makes the older hunter different is his mental strength and his ability to condition himself perfectly over the course of the safari. We are talking about a very special breed of older hunters. These are men and women who have always willingly faced the challenges in their lives. The way we hunt, we are. I was looking forward to hunt with Eve Burrus. In many aspects, he is an interesting personality. Already hunting with uh, my grandfather, so he, he took us to hunt. We were hunting birds, and when he had shot two or three birds, maybe one rabbit, he said, it's enough, we have enough for the week. Let's go home. That's great. Yeah, that was a great experience, you know, because afterwards, for sure, like many others, I shot many million birds the same day, but now I think that one buffalo for for a week or two weeks is enough, you know. <laughs> what fascinates me about him is his holistic approach to hunting, an aspect I totally embrace myself. For Eve, hunting does not only need to be sustainable, no, hunting in itself is what he's after. I'm concerned to hunt with a 74-year-old hunter. Would he be able to succeed in getting a buffalo in the mountains? I'm here for the week, hunting with you because the environment, the experience, the people we can meet and it's so great, you know, I enjoy it so much. That question was thrown out of the window the first meeting we had. Eve loves mountains and was especially fascinated with the rich habitat of the mountain forest environment. As long as there were buffalo, he would have a successful hunt, irrelevant to shooting one or not. What an extraordinary starting point for a safari. 